How's it going everybody and welcome to another Workbench Wednesday on the Boomer Tactical Channel. Well it's time to show you guys what's inside this case. So come on over to the workbench and we'll take a look. Alright so let's take a look at what's inside the box. And like I said the guy who had this previous to me made the case for this. And what is inside? Does anybody know what this is? Any guesses? This is a universal enforcer pistol chambered in 30 carbine. And until I saw this on Gunbroker, I had no idea that they made them in pistol versions. And as I mentioned in my other video, this firearm is about 40 years old and I'll show you how I date it later on. And for as old as it is, it's in really, really good shape. Let me throw in some still pictures of the wording on top of the receiver and then I'll come back to you. Now for all those safety Nazis out there, I have checked this firearm numerous times before I started this video and there is no ammunition inside it whatsoever. A little bit about this pistol, like I said, it's chambered in 30 carbine. Its overall length is a little bit over 19 inches long. And the barrel length is 11 and a quarter inches long. And like you saw on the still pictures, this was made in Hialeah, Florida. It came with a five round magazine. And on the other side is the magazine release. There's the five round magazine. And here is your safety right here. And of course your trigger and your trigger guard and a uniquely shaped pistol grip. And then there's a little button right here on the back which is probably a little bit hard to see right here. And that is your bolt hold open. So you just pull your bolt open and just push the little button and it locks it open. I found an article online about these and they made them from 1968 to 1983. The ones that were made between 1968 and 1978 were ones that had two and three quarter inch barrels, weighed four and a half pounds, and had an overall length of 17 and three quarters. The stock was walnut and it had a wooden handguard. And they have fixed front and rear sights. The ones that were made between 1979 and 1983, the barrels were an inch longer at 11 and a quarter inches long. But they did weigh a little bit less. They were four pounds instead of four and a half pounds. And like I said, the earlier versions, the total overall length was 17 and three quarters. The ones between 1979 and 1983, their overall length was 19 inches. And besides the walnut stock, and pistol grip, the ones between 1979 and 1983, as you can see, that's one of the way you can date this, that this one has a ventilated metal handguard. And I showed you earlier, it came with a five round magazine, but you also can purchase from uh, ProMag, you can get a 15 round magazine, and you can also get a 30 round magazine. I will tell you the 15 round magazine fits very snug which is great but I have a hard time locking it in to the magwell. And then just the opposite the 30 round magazine fits in fantastic and locks in every time but it's very loose. From what I found out between the carbines and these pistols between 1968 and 1983, they made over 400,000 of them. And when you look online, a lot of people speak bad about these. But here's the thing, they made them for almost 20 years and made over 400,000 of them. They had to be doing something right. And I haven't had any troubles with this one at all. And of course, there's other brands and models out there that are much more desirable than these. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at the Universal Enforcer pistol chambered in 30 carbine. 
Let me know in the comments section down below if you guys have ever owned one of these or the carbines and what your experience is with them. And if you enjoyed the video that I showed you here today, please take time to like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And we will see you in the next video.